president of the Art of Management. Nice to talk to you again. I have a topic today I thought would be fun, and it's called, Is Procrastination Hurting Your Profits? This is a subject that a lot of us are guilty, not everybody, but most of us are guilty to some degree or another of putting off doing things that are not comfortable doing or that seem too big or whatever. So, um, and usually this results in more stress because you know you've put it off and you know it's sitting there still and it's still waiting for you and it's not going away. And that could be things like um, taking actions to improve your staff situations and you put off and you put off and you put up with the way it's going right now and it causes you stress and instead of taking the action you should take, you just kind of like let it run. So what is procrastination precisely? It's defined as the act of postponing or delaying something. Sometimes you do it on purpose, sometimes you do it subconsciously, I have to say. And some things that you have to do are more urgent than others. Um, some are harder to confront than others. So you got these two different factors playing against you when you want to figure out how to do something. The first step really is just facing up to the fact that these things need to be done. Whatever they are that are stressing you or that need to be accomplished, write them down. What I actually found, a I, there's several techniques for this. One of mine is writing a battle plan, like for the day and for the week. And on it, um, on the weekly one, I put down all the big things. On the daily one, I take a big thing and break it into little steps and put other things that I have to accomplish that day as well. So you can do it that way. Um, and then just take the items one at a time and get them done. Now, some people like to take the easiest one on the list and get it done first and build up steam because you take the easiest, then the next easiest, and so on, so that by the time you get to the harder items, you've got steam and you've got wins from having accomplished what you've accomplished so far. Other people, and this works sometimes in certain circumstances, take the hardest one and do it first. <sighs> done. <laughs> okay, good. Now take the next hardest one and so on and so on down to the easy ones so you feel better and better and better as you get down the list because you've worked up some steam and you feel energized by getting down to the easy ones and you're whizzing along getting things done and your day goes well. So that's one technique. Um, actually two techniques. So take the hardest one first or take the easiest one first and build up energy to get to the big one. So that's two. And another thing that some people do that is a good technique and that is just Take the items that you need to do, write them down, and schedule them exactly. When are you gonna do it? What time, what day, exactly how much time are you gonna put into it that day to actually get it done? So, and then stick to it like glue. And some people are very, very good at this. I find my life um, has a lot of wrinkles thrown into it where I might not be able to actually for sure stick to certain things, um, but I do have like an overall plan in my scheduler that uh, says when I'm doing certain things. And um, another little trick is to, if you've got a big project that needs to be done, I don't know, um, renovate the office, let's say. Okay, you could break it down into smaller steps, step by step, so they're easy, and you can accomplish them and go tick, I got that one done. You know, we taped all the edges so that when we paint it doesn't go into the next thing. Whatever, I mean, you can break it down into small steps, pick wallpaper, pick paint color, good tip done, as opposed to feeling overwhelmed by the hugeness of the overall project. So there you go. So now it's up to you to apply one of these and um, I'll get back to you later on more tips on procrastinating. Bye.